everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ferdi Santiago and if it's your first time tuning in here, allow me to give you my warm welcome. For today's video, I will be creating a disco inspired glam. But this is not a requested look. I know I have been doing that for quite some time now. Um, but the other day, I was cleaning my makeup cabinet and I realized I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I bought last year when we were on lockdown that I was not able to use because I wasn't doing much private work um, last year and I thought this is a very good opportunity for me to use those palettes um, to create this look but also because it's pride month so I think this will be a very good makeup look to wear on your pride parties or on your summer parties so if you want to know how stick around and let's have some fun I have gone ahead and started preparing my skin using the Clinique clarifying lotion and then I'm going to follow that up with this eye roll from Clinique as well Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use this Regents Emulsion from Bobbi Brown. For moisturizer, I will be using this one from Amora Vitsa. And I'm also going to use this SPF from Darfin. So this is SPF 50. If you know me personally, you would know that in the past, I wasn't a big fan of SPF, but only because I've not found one that doesn't feel really sticky and really greasy and doesn't have that funny smell. And since I discovered this one, I've been using it for two months now and so far so good it doesn't have that funny smell it doesn't have that greasy feel it doesn't make me look gray and it's really good to be worn underneath makeup as well right and finally lip balm And we're good. And now on to makeup. I will begin with the eyes first and that's just how I like to do makeup. And I will be working mainly with this gorgeous palette here from Pat McGrath. I don't know if the camera could pick up the color but this is a beautiful palette from Pat McGrath. But if you are having difficulty um, accessing Pat McGrath or if it's out of your price range, a very good alternative would be this one here from Smashbox. So it's not exactly the same but I feel like it gives the very same vibe. I think you could also create a very same look that I will be creating with this palette. Onto the eyes. First and foremost, I will be using this Coal Liner. This is actually a limited edition Kajal Liner from Bobbi Brown. But you could use whatever kajal liner, black kajal liner that you have. You can also use a gel liner or even just a plain black eyeliner. That would just create a very good base for the eyeshadow. I mean, that on its own is a very good look already, but we want color today. We will be using colors today. Hmm, really good. I should remember 
to create a look with just this kaja liner. So that's done and now moving to the eyeshadow. So I will be going in with this blue first using a flat brush and then we just go So I'm just really packing it on top of that Kajal liner and that Kajal liner would really grip that eyeshadow. Alright, and then going in with this violet, I'm going to pack that on the outer corner. Then on the inner corner as well. And then using a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that. So just really keep blending and diffusing that violet eyeshadow right so that violet eyeshadow is now well blended and then moving on to this green one i think this is duo chrome so i'm not sure if it's going to show but we're going to try just going to pat that on the inner corner There you go. Alright, so I think I'm going to clean my under eye now and continue with the skin. For color corrector, I will be using this T corrector from Bobbi Brown. Alright, so that's me color corrected and now moving into the concealer, I will be using this one from Pat McGrath as well.
Mm -hmm. What was I thinking with this? Right, so that's the concealer buffed up using a foundation brush. What was I thinking trying to blend with a concealer brush? <laughs> And for foundation, I will be using this one from Pat McGrath as well. Right, so that's the foundation done. So I'm going to allow the foundation to really settle onto my skin and now I'm moving into the contouring. I will be using this contour stick from Kiko. <laughs> and then I'm going to use this foundation brush to buff it. This is the old Shiseido one. It's my first time using this contour stick, and it's a bomb. Wow, galing. Bongga niya. And to set that contour, I will be using this bronzer. And then for under eye, I will be using this one from Pat McGrath. And then to set the foundation. For highlighter, I will be using this Pat McGrath palette as well.
And for blush, I will be going with this one. And then going back into the eyes, I will be using the Kajal Liner again. Just creating a series of dots on the outer half corner. And then using the same brush, I'm just going to smudge that. And then going in with this green eyeshadow, going to apply that on top of that Kajal liner. There you go. And I'm also going to do a bit of nose contouring. Forgive me, I just have to. I'm also going in a bit here just to sculpt the eyes a bit because it's all metallic so I just want something to ground that and then I'm going to curl my lashes and then mascara and false lashes you know the drill and then mascara Right, so that's my lashes done. You just can't go to disco without lashes. And then for eyebrows, I'm going against the usual. So I will be using this hourglass one. And then I'm going to set it with this Charlotte Tilbury one. And I'm going back in again with this palette and I'm going to use this gold just on the inner corner of my eye and for lips I will be using this lip liner first from MAC
and then I'll finish that off with this lip gloss from Pat McGrath. And we're done. And there you have it. A disco inspired glam that would be perfect for your pride party or whatever party you're having this summer season. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love doing it. And as always, if there is a look that you want me to create for you, just put it down in the comment section and I will try my very best. Also feel free to follow me on my Instagram. It's somewhere in here. And while we're at it, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and turn that notification on so you will be notified when a new video comes up. I hope to see you again on my next video, but until then, always remember, be proud and be kind to yourselves. Bye!